Hello and welcome to Geek Barn's First Look. Today we're going to be looking at the Voyo VBook A3 Pro. So this is the Voyo VBook A3 Pro. It's a two-in-one tablet and laptop PC with relatively high specifications. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look inside. Quite a tight fit, there you go. Right, here we are. Here is the tablet PC. But before we check that out, let's take a look at the other contents in the box. We have a manual here, Chinese, and yep, we have English and Russian there at the back. Okay, put that to one side. And the charger here, and also a stylus to use with the touch sensitive screen. Hmm, let's take a look at this stylus. So the stylus pen that comes with this Voyo VBook A3 Pro looks like that. Okay, quite a nice sleek looking design. So here we have the actual laptop itself. And as you can see, I've got the blue edition here and it's quite a plain sort of design. Not much branding on the top here, but if we turn it over, we can see it has the branding for Voyo and for the processor, which is an Intel i7, but we'll go more into that later. There's also smallish rubber feet here on the bottom. Yeah, not too intrusive, quite slim there. On the side here, we have a USB 3 slot, the headphone jack, and a micro SIM card slot here. We also have bezels for the volume and the power, just like a normal tablet. On the other side, we have another USB 3 and the charging port, HDMI port, and a micro SD card slot. Okay, so let's open it up and take a look at the screen. So here we have a 13.3 inch screen with that window symbol down at the bottom. At the top here, we have a two megapixel front camera. Also, you can see down just beneath the keyboard, there's a fingerprint scanner, which allows you to log into your PC without a password. Now, the keyboard generally has a nice look and feel to it. However, as you can probably see there, there is a little bit of bounce, especially in the middle of the keyboard. Okay, and now if we fold it back, that is what it looks like when it's presenting as a tablet. Okay, so let's just take off this film here. There we go. And now let's turn on our laptop. Okay, so I've turned it on and that was a very quick load up time. I've turned up the brightness a little bit so you can see a bit clearer. So let's first of all check out some of the specifications and what's inside our computer. So I've opened up the DirectX Diagnostics window to take a closer look at the specifications. It comes with Windows 10, although it doesn't come with Microsoft Office on it. The processor is an Intel i7-6500, so that's sixth generation, so it should be pretty quick. In terms of the RAM, it has eight gigabytes, which is actually upgradable to 16 gigabytes. So again, quite quick and fairly high specifications for a laptop at this price range. Now, as far as the graphics card goes, let's take a look on this display here. It's running an Intel HD Graphics 520 card. Now, I found through using this that the touchpad is generally quite smooth and it does support multi-touch, although I would say the palm rejection on it isn't very good. Okay, so now I'm in Windows sign-in settings and I'm gonna try setting up my own fingerprint to log into this computer. So let's just touch my finger down there and see how it works. Okay, it seems to be picking that up so far. Right, now let's see if this actually works to log in and how quick it is. What I've done now is set up my fingerprint, so let's see how quickly it can get into my account using my fingerprint ID. Here we go my finger down there and we're in just like that pretty quick okay so let's play some video now and see how the display looks 
and I would say it, it's looking pretty good. The colors are nice, the quality seems clear and crisp, and because of the IPS screen, it looks decent from pretty much any angle. Uh, however, I would say that uh, the slight negative is in that even on maximum brightness, it doesn't get that bright. So it's not so good if the conditions around you are also very bright. It makes it a bit harder to see the screen. Now, although the Viva K3 Pro isn't exactly a great device as far as gaming goes, it's still got generally quite a high performance. Um, with the 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is upgradable to 16GB, it's also got 256GB of SSD internal storage, which is a highlight of this machine. For what is a 2-in-1, its general performance is pretty good, especially at this price point. Comparing it to say the Lenovo Yoga series, which is much higher priced, but a similar spec, you're getting a good deal here. At 650 US dollars, um, you get a lot of bang for your buck in this two-in-one laptop. So now it's time to test out the touch screen capabilities with the stylus pen I have here. So for that, I've opened up one of the most advanced image editing softwares on the market, Microsoft Paint, ha ha. Let's pick our brush. Okay, we've already picked paintbrush. We'll go for orange color. Okay, wrong orange already. And let's see how it does. Just draw a simple line down there. Right, so that's how the stylus works with this VBook A3 Pro. How about just with the finger? Let's see if we can complete my painting. Hmm, I could have really made a career out of being an artist, as you can see. Here is my, can you guess what it is yet? House, of course, of course it's a house. But generally follows my finger pretty well aside from the occasional space like that. And there you have it, my masterpiece is complete. If you'd like to see a full review of the Voyo VBook A3 Pro, then leave a comment below and click the link in the description if you'd like to purchase your own. For other tech gear, head to geekbind.com and don't forget to subscribe. I'm not